What's going on, everybody? Can it up here with a, another Megman X dive video? Now, uh, first things first, hear that in the background. That's my air conditioner. Sorry, it's on, it's hot. I need that on. Uh, but we finally got another Dr. Light's Lab in the Bobo version of X dive. So I figured I would take this opportunity to go over Dr. Light's Lab once again. All right, so after clicking on the Dr. Light's Lab tab, I noticed you need these segmented, these program segments here. And in order to get those segments, uh, you get them as drops from the stages. So we're going, we click on the drop event here. So you get them from the stage completion loot. So you just pick a stage of your choosing, and then you can just go and skip them, and and you get a bunch of these. I'm gonna get the max runs of these in real quick, so I'll be back momentarily. All right, I've gotten my 70 drops for the day. Now, before I move on to the portion that we're all waiting for of how to use, how to get these things for Dr. Light's Lab, real quick, I want to point out, you can go to the store, and then you can buy about 30 more, I believe, a day. Yeah, it's 30 more. It's going to cost quite a bit, but uh, I always do this here just because it makes getting the rest of the rewards a lot easier here. All right, now that we have all of our programs for the day here, uh, if we click on the rewards tab, you can see what your rewards are. And this is very, very important because um, I'm going to include the link to the Google spreadsheet that I always leave down below in the description. And I'm going to go over this um, and hopefully explain so that no one's confused this time. Because every time I've explained this in the past, I still get a lot of people saying that they're confused. And I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to try to simplify this as much as I can. <laughs> So, you see here we have Black Zero, Elemental Metal Supply Box, Biochemical Buster, Sub Tank Memory, and Shotgun Memory. So, I'm going to put this, I'll, I'll put a screenshot of this on screen, and I'll leave a, a direct link to this, um, to the spreadsheet as well here, uh, because th this is important because it shows what rewards are here. This is going to be the uh, Taiwan Capsule Event 3, which... Side note, it's extremely funny how Nebula Joy is constantly saying they want to catch up to uh, the Taiwan version, yet we're, this is only the third Dark Lights Lab we've gotten while Taiwan is on their 14th. Anyway, so um, on the, the spreadsheet here that I have uh, in front of me and should be somewhere, uh, I'll have a screenshot at some point on the, on the, um, on the video, but uh, you'll see numbers and then you will see, uh, you know, columns saying what you can get from them. And each, each reward is, um, you, know, you can get these three times, except for the element of the middle supply box, you get that once. So for example, the first column in the block zero box says zero, three, seven, five. So what does that translate to? That translates to, click on this, zero red. So the first number is the reds. Second number is the greens. So we're gonna go three green. Third number is seven. So we're gonna go seven blue. And then the last number is the uh, Charlie said yellow, so we're going to go five yellows. And just like that, we get our black zero memories. Now, we're just going to do that two more times. Don't have to put them back in. And then, boom, we have all three black zero memories. And it's just that simple. Uh, that's all you need to do for this event. And you're going to do the same thing for the subsequent um, items as well. Um, you can just pick any number here, um, of the reusable codes, because all the codes are reusable. Um, ideally you pick the ones that are, um, that are least intensive on the program segments you have, because that'll just make the most sense. The, now the program segments are RNG based, as in, you see, I have a lot more reds and I have blues. That's just because of how they dropped. Not really much else I can do about that. So, um, if I want the elemental metal supply box now. So that one is seven. So we're going to go seven red. Uh, one. So one green. Zero. So zero blue. And then three for three yellow. And get that element to middle supply box. And that's just how you go about looking at the, um, you know, getting the rewards here. And there are some other things you can get as well, such as uh, proficient memory cards, weapon EXP, chip EXP. And supposedly armor parts as well. Um, I'd recommend going after those after you you finish up uh, these because there is a, a ranking for this. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but the first 100 people to complete this get 500 elemental medals, which is always nice, and then so on and so forth. 
So this is very, very easy. Um, it might be a bit more troublesome if you're not like me and you don't uh, just have lots of extra energy. So uh, that's really the only like limiting factor for this event, how fast you can do it. Uh, I always just have extra energy because, well, uh, one, I don't use all my energy each day. Uh, and two, like I said, global version, I just don't care about it as much anymore because I don't like the way it's being handled. Uh, so I play that the least. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And real quick, just one last time, uh, biochemical buster memory. So it's four, zero, three, six. So we go four, then we go zero, go three, then we're going to go six. And sorry, I'm, I'm constantly looking over to my, uh, to my right. I'm looking at my other monitor to make sure I get the codes right. And we get the biochemical buster memories. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't have enough yellows to to uh to you know to make more only have two yellows left so that's unlucky i have to wait a little bit for that um so i need two more biochemical buster memories but uh that's it for this video i just wanted to make this video real quick to go over the dr let's lab because like i said um and a lot of people are confused like the last couple um people have been confused and i don't know how to make it any simpler than than what i just did so hopefully everyone understands it this time and one last thing actually a total power battle has ended so i just wanted to remind people that you need to go in and manually claim your rewards um i already claimed my rewards though so i cannot claim them again so uh, if you have not claimed your rewards yet you have to come down here click the claim rewards button much like as you would in that regular event uh but after you do that um you know this it says rewards can be collected once the event has ended so just make sure you do that i already posted about it on reddit i'll probably make a channel post about it post it in discord as well just so as many people as possible um remember to do that uh but that will be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to like comment and subscribe i'll share lots of great content i'm gonna give a quick shout out to my youtube channel members and my channel patrons thank you for supporting me to do what i do if you'd like to support me as a youtube channel member or as a patron you can do so uh down below in the video description and i'll catch you guys next time later